All right, it's time to leave. Since this is for healthcare workers, they do want me to prove that I'm a healthcare worker. And so what I'm doing is before I head to my appointment, I am actually going to my office and we're gonna pick up my optometric license and uh, show that to him. Oh, got to turn off the alarm. And here's the professional license in a conspicuous place like they've asked us to do. And we're off. I don't particularly like shots, but as a kid, I had a lot of severe allergies, and so I took allergy shots. And uh, you might know that you start out one shot every week, and then every two weeks, and then later on it's every month, and then every two months, and then they eventually spread them out, and that's how you build up your immunity. That's a lot of shots for a 12-year-old kid. So I just learned how to take shots, and if you want a tip, the more you relax your arm, completely relax your arm, the less you feel. If you're all tensed up, the more you're gonna feel it. I've actually had shots where I didn't even feel them because I was able to relax so much. So right before getting the shot, just relax, and it'll be much better. There's the signage right there. So I put my mask back on because it looks like we're almost up. There's only one car in front of me before we start talking to the person who's directing everything, it looks like right there. Good, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. Good, good. Uh, are you here for a test? I'm actually here for the vaccination. Great, and you got your email? Yep, the... I do. Okay, I got the QR deal. code. Um, so I'm actually going to send you straight through to lane three, okay? Okay, thank Congrats. you. I appreciate it. Yeah, of course. So while we're waiting here, I'll just talk to you a little bit about at least what I found out about the, the vaccine. I know it's controversial. When I told somebody that I was going to be coming here and kind of video documenting my experience and posting it they were a little bit concerned about it being so controversial and I, I can understand why it's controversial there's a lot of uh, misunderstanding out there too and there's probably some valid concerns about it also but I did a lot of research and so maybe while we're sitting here I can tell you about some of the things that I discovered about the vaccine so this vaccine is, is very interesting it's actually called an mRNA vaccine which M means messenger the way that uh, viruses work is that they I infect your body, they have mRNA inside of the virus, they then attach themselves to a cell in your body and then inject that mRNA into your, into your cell and then use the cell as a factory to produce more viruses. And so what this does though is this particular uh, one. I know a lot of people are concerned about getting sick from the vaccine, and that's a possibility, but not from the vaccine. You could also be already infected and just happen to have now started having symptoms after you got the vaccine, but the vaccine cannot cause the virus or any illness at all. Uh, you might have some s side effects to it. You might feel a little bit sick afterwards, but that's not necessarily the virus. That's your immune system ramping up. The way it works is that this vaccine is the mRNA portion of it. It's not a, it's not a virus. It's actually only the informational part. It then tells your body to produce only some of the virus. In other words, it's kind of like having a Lego set and only having half the instruction booklet. You can't build the entire model because uh, the rest of it is missing, and that's exactly what happens with this. Your body only produces a part of the of the virus, just enough for your body to realize that that's foreign. It builds up an immunity against that, and then the next time you come in contact with that virus, it attacks it and destroys it without it actually progressing to a full-blown disease. So that's how the vaccine works. So no, you cannot get sick from this vaccine from the virus itself because there is no virus that they're putting into you it's only the instructional booklet and only half the booklet on how to make viruses that they're injecting in we are almost there it looks like i'm four cars away now that's pretty exciting 
I know a lot of people are concerned about what's in this vaccine. If you go to the CDC's website, they actually have all the ingredients listed there, and there's only about four ingredients. There's the mRNA, which is the uh, part that does all the work. Lipids, in other words, proteins are in there. The saline, and interestingly enough, sugar. There's a little bit of sugar in there, and that's just to keep the proteins from sticking to each other and to the uh, vial. Uh, now, anybody who knows me knows that I'm not opposed to sugar, especially in the liquid form. So, you know, I think I'll be just fine with having just a little extra sugar in my body. I doubt it's that much sugar. I'm sure it's quite a small amount. Gotta get my mask on here. I know. And we are almost there. Yes. Okay. Lucky day. Q QR code? Yes, please. Okay. Hang on. Video documenting it also, if you don't okay. mind. Okay. No, no problem. <laughs> there it is. Fabulous. And it tells me that this is Michael? Yes. Can you please confirm your last name? Peterson. Date of birth. So far, so good. <laughs> and... <clears throat> Please confirm that this information is accurate. Yes, thank you. Yeah? Looks great. And the only last thing, an employment uh, yep. ID? I got it right here. It's actually my license. Okay, and you are a? Optometrist. Oh, fantastic. That's why I Ah, perfect. Did you just see that I'm an optometrist? <laughs> <laughs> you're supposed to say, oh, I see. I see. That's what you're supposed to say. Okay, my dear, you can go. Thank you. How are you? Good, how are you doing? Good, George, keep going. Yep, just straight through four. Thank you. Thank you. This is like going to an amusement park. This is pretty impressive. They got catering here too for the workers. That's pretty nice. Hello. Hello, how are you? Doing well, thank you. Is it okay if I put my laptop Oh, go there? right ahead, go right ahead. Perfect, okay. Is it okay if I video this? Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> What is your name? Michael Peterson, S-O-N. Okay, Michael, can you verify your um, address and phone number? What else? Phone number. Thank you. Okay, and then she's just going to get your name and she's going to hand you a card. Um, it'll tell you when to come back, okay? Perfect, thank you. Hi, what's your first last name? Michael Peterson. S-O-N? At least it's a fairly nice day. Yes. My hands are cold though, so I messed up your name, so that's why it's scribbled out. <laughs> that's okay. Um, date of birth? Am I just going through? Yep. Okay, thank you. Yep, you're welcome. A lot of people to go through. How you doing? Good, how are you doing, sir? Good. Just thank you so much. Passing out flyers for anyone needed resources that have been affected by COVID. Okay. okay. Perfect. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh -huh. All right. This is probably the uh, sticky part. Or they stick you. Hello, sir. How Hello. Are you? Good. How are you doing? Doing so well. Can I get your vaccination card that they gave you? This one. Yes, sir. Michael. You doing a documentary or what? Uh, just. You know, vlog just so everybody else knows about it. Got it. That it's not scary. Yeah, it's good. How you feeling today, Michael? Very good, no problems. Good. Any allergies or adverse reactions to the vaccination or medications? No. Okay, any vaccinations the last 14 days? No. No? Good. Okay, any um, IV therapy for antibodies? No. No? And you're not, you don't currently have COVID or you're not in quarantine or isolation for COVID? No, nothing. No. Okay. Alrighty. And then which arm are you gonna you gonna get poked into? Let's go ahead and go one? with the left, yeah. Making it easy for us, but we're also here for you, so <laughs> we'll do whatever you tell us, all right? I don't know if you can do the other arm, can you? Uh, you would just have to twist. be a contortionist. For okay, a got bit. it, yeah. got it. Twist a little bit there. Twist, a little twist. Okay, this is for you to take. Thank you. 
Um, when they poke you in the arm, some minor side effects you're going to have is you are going to have a sore arm for the next couple of days. The more okay. you move it, the better it's going to feel. Okay. You may also experience some mild flu-like symptoms. If you do, please feel free to take any medications you normally would take to help alleviate those symptoms. Okay. That would include like headache, nausea, vomiting. It's the, I mean, those are nausea and vomiting are way down the list. It's, it, the top one is a sore arm, headache, and then maybe some body aches. Okay. And um, a, maybe some fever and chills, things like that. Okay. But a nap goes a long way in all okay. honesty. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so Alrighty. much. Alrighty. We're going to have you pull all the way up to Heidi and she's going to give you your There's shot. Heidi okay. Right up there. okay. Thank you, sir. That's probably the closest I've been to a stranger in a long time. Hello. Hello, Heidi. Is it okay if I video this? Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Mind. Thank you. How are you? Good, good. Um, could you. We're going to go right here? Yes. Yep. So after you get your shot today, we're going to have you go to a little waiting lot over there for 15 minutes. You I time understand. yourself. If for some reason you're not feeling good, you feel like you're having a reaction, you honk your horn and put your hazards on and someone will help you right away. Okay, very good. I haven't seen anything crazy today, so we're just gonna... All right. Let's not start here, you know? Yeah, that's right. Okay, we're gonna actually relax your arm down to the side. It'll feel a little bit better for Hang you. Hang on, I gotta get this up here further. Yeah. All right, there we go. Keep that arm nice and relaxed. Yeah. Didn't even feel it. Good. You're very good at that, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> Go. Perfect. Yep, Thank you so much. Right. Thank Maybe. you. Have a good one. You too. See, that wasn't bad at all. She's done that a lot of times. Didn't even flinch. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Good. Good. You okay being on camera? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We'll just have you hang out for 15 minutes. Yeah. If there's sense. no reaction, you can Sleeve. go. If okay. there is, we'll have you turn on your hazards. Honk. We'll come right over. Okay. Sounds good. If you're interested, this is the V Safe. It will. Yeah, give you texts. Um, you can scan good. this or take a picture of this for later if you want to register for it. <laughs> Not good. required, but we totally got it. up to you. Sounds yeah. good. Thank you. Appreciate it. Day. You too. They're being very cautious about side effects. So I was really impressed with how organized it was and how well they did and how uh, cordial they were and, and, and very professional. I appreciated that too. I think a lot of people are still wondering if they really should be getting the vaccine. And uh, my personal opinion on that was that uh, why not? Uh, it is safe. And I'll talk about that here in just a moment as to why it's so safe and what my research indicated there. But I've heard from multiple people and I've also read multiple articles on it as to the long-term effects of having the COVID infection. A lot of us, I think, are thinking that you get the, the infection, everyone's going to get it eventually, so you'll have immunity, so why do the vaccine? I think one of my concerns was, was long-term effects, not of the vaccine, um, but of, of illness, of actually getting COVID. I know it's easy to think that you just get it, you get over it, and you're much better, and now you have immunity, but I've heard from a few different people that have indicated that it's a long time sometimes for them to get over illnesses and their bodies are never the same. I just spoke with a 27 year old woman that feels like she actually got it at the beginning of the pandemic back in uh, February or March. Uh, she got a tremendous illness that she had never experienced before and she said her body's never been the same. She has uh, various issues that are going on and she feels like they all stemmed from that. So we're just not quite sure but why take the risk in my opinion. I know a lot of people are really concerned about this vaccine and getting it. And I know one of the concerns is, is that it was sped through development. It's way too fast. We've never seen something go through the FDA that quickly. So how effective could it be? And is it truly safe? So after doing some research, let me just tell you what I found out. So COVID-19 is actually the disease that is caused by a virus called SARS-CoV-2. SARS stands for uh, severe acute respiratory syndrome. And so that's SARS-CoV-2. Well, interesting, the number two, because this is the second time we've actually seen a virus like this. SARS-CoV-1 actually came out in 2003. So they started working on uh, an immunization, a vaccine against that virus. Eventually, they didn't get all the way through the development because the, the virus disappeared and the illness disappeared and the need disappeared. So they stopped production on that and, and development on that. So here now comes SARS-CoV-2 and COVID-19. They were able to pick up right where they left off on that previous development. Now, 
They also implemented what's called uh, Operation Warp Speed, or OWS. And really what that indicates is it's a new way of actually pushing things through while still going through all the same steps that you'd have a virus go through, or excuse me, a vaccine go through, and not skipping any steps, not hurrying any steps, but it does take money. So that's what Operation Warp Speed did, was it added a whole bunch of money to the process. Most of the time when we are developing a vaccine, it runs in a linear fashion. In other words, over here you have the development of the vaccine, then you have to try it on animals, and then you try it on humans, in other words, clinical trials, and then you have to produce more vaccine for distribution. What Operation Warp Speed did was instead of running it in a linear fashion, they stacked certain of these things to run at the exact same time. So they stacked a process and ran them simultaneously. So for example, while they were doing clinical trials and FDA approval, at the same time they actually went ahead and started developing the vaccine. So that saved a lot of time in getting the vaccine produced. Now if it hadn't gone through FDA, if it had failed somehow, they would have had to have pretty much dumped all of that vaccine and it would have been a waste. Fortunately for us, heaven was on our side. It actually worked out really well and it's an effective vaccine and it went through all the same safety trials and safety tests and efficacy tests that a normal vaccine would have gone through. Well, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you listening to me as I go through all of this, but I felt like it might be helpful because when this rolls out to the general public, I'm hoping that it'll get rid of some of the myths, some of the misunderstandings out there and help people feel more comfortable and confident about moving forward uh, with this. I know I'll probably get some naysayers and some uh, haters out there, but I feel like it's worth it. Um, I, I feel like I'm a scientific man, I have a scientific brain. I feel like this went through the scientific process and through the development process. And uh, I, I feel quite confident about what's going on. I'm hoping that everybody's going to feel confident also and go ahead and get their immunization, their uh, vaccine, and we'll all get back to hopefully the life that we're used to and that we love. So thank you so much for watching.